Now to make the large Christmas cupcake you're going to need to print this design out six times. You need six of these panels. I've done it on a 160 uh, paper card here. Now before you actually cut it out you need to score the lines where you're going to fold. And I've just got a little plastic measure here and an old embossing tool and I just go across there and score it. I turn it round and then go up the edge here like that. Make sure you're on the red bit because if you're on the white bit and fold it over you get like a white line down the edge so do it so it's just on the red bit and along there. Now when you've done that you can start to cut this out. I'm just coming to the end of cutting this out like so. Now there's my finished template. Now because you've creased it here you can fold that, fold that ready, fold that down like so and then this one here on the edge folds in like that. Now your templates are ready. Now all you have to do is do that with another five of those and then they're ready to stick together. Now do them two, in, two at a time, do them as pairs and then we'll combine the whole thing together at the end. I'm turning this one over and this one over so you can see like that. Now that one is going to fit onto there like so and let me just get this right. Yes, that's right. That goes there and that will go up there and stick to there like that. So you're going to put glue on here and you're going to put glue on here. So I've got my glue here and I'm just going to squeeze that out. You're going to lay these bottoms on top of each other so you get a nice thick base on your cupcake and a little bit of glue on the flap there. Make sure you go right up to the edge there because that's where it can kind of come undone. Put the glue back on, put the top back on my glue. Now this is going to just fit into there like that over the top. And if it's not completely accurate, doesn't matter, you can trim it later. That goes there and then this pops up like that and that pops up and then you just stick those together like so and if I turn that over you'll be able to see. Now you can just jiggle it slightly until everything's in the right place. You don't want a white line down here so just push that in a little bit more and just hold it for a few seconds until that sticks together. So do that with each of the sets of two. Now I've got the three sets of two glued together now then I can start gluing the two sets together and then add the third one. So if I just turn that over I'm going to be sticking that one down to this one. So try and do this back to front. You always, always make it twice as hard trying to do this so you can see what I'm doing. So that just get some glue on the inside of that one there. And then we're going to glue on the flap here too. As I say, go right up to the edges, especially in this corner, because if it's going to come apart, that's where it'll start coming apart. So that goes on there. Put the top back on my glue. And then this just fits inside there, like so. And then you just lift that up and stick those two together. Now turn it over, and then you can jiggle it around a little bit so you get it in exactly the right place there as you stick it down. And finally I'm going to just glue the last flap there so all the all the, they're all stuck together. 
and that just goes, shoves up to there and sticks down. You can then turn it over, you see you've got a little bit of white there, just jiggle it into position and just hold it in position until it dries. That's only going to take a few seconds. Now you can see the big one is completely stuck together. Is that, if there's any little bits here overhanging, just take a pair of scissors and just trim them up along the edge there so everything's neat and tidy. Now to fold it together you just turn it over. Now you've got six of these. Now it's very simple if you just follow what I do. The first one just goes over. The second one just goes over like that. The third one just goes over like that. Now the fourth one tucks underneath the first one so that goes over but then you tuck it in in there like so. Now the fifth one again just goes over and you tuck that in there so it's like holding it all together you can see the cupcake coming together. Now the difficult one is this one you need to tuck this edge in as well as you're kind of sliding that underneath there too. So first of all try and get it in there first and then I kind of, sorry if you can't see this very well, you can see that bit that's the one that's always a little bit of a pain so you just ease that out a little bit and tuck that in and then you've got it. Just take your fingers in there and just squidge them all together like that just rotate it round you see they all slot inside each other now and you've got that fantastic cupcake ready to decorate.